fun here, Lima, Peru. This is the first time I've been out in a month. Uh, four weeks ago, Monday, that's when the quarantine started. And I've been inside ever since. But uh, this morning, my wife and I decided that we'd go shopping to a place called Macro. That's like, uh, like Costco. And the lineup starts all the way down there. Goes all the way down where that macro sign is. And then come back this way. And then comes back. Wraps around. It's like ants. I feel like we're like ants. <laughs> and then they go all the way around there. And from the corner also to the way to the left. My goodness, that's just crazy. And then to the left in our lineup. Yeah, so this is the world that we live in for now. I really feel in my spirit that uh, if the Lord decides not to come soon, then uh, life after this will not be the same. It's going to be uh, it's going to be a lot more stricter, a lot more rules. We won't be able to gather in large meetings. Unless you get that vaccine that Bill Gates is uh, promoting. So all this is, in my opinion, all of this is for money. Huge, huge money and beyond money. Power. One world order. So everyone has their own opinions and their own many different conspiracies. But ultimately... I believe that it does boil down to big, huge corporations trying to take control and power of the world. I mean, it's obvious the whole world is quarantined and shut down. The economy is collapsing. People are, many deaths are happening, not just from the coronavirus, but from suicide and um, people's lives have just changed so I'll leave that with you you guys can do your own study but uh, this is what it looks like here in Lima Peru so God bless you guys and uh, re remember that Jesus is our only hope amen bless you guys